some people say to me, Aaron, is it risky to have a business? Is it risky to grow an empire? Is it risky to expand and scale? The answer is it's risky not to change. If you look at what's happened around the world with COVID, you look at what's happened around the world with pandemics and recessions, it's shown that those that haven't evolved before now, those that haven't actually made evolution and transformation a key thing about how they master their business and their empire, they're the ones that did the worst through COVID. So it's risky not to change. Here's the second thing to understand. Your brain doesn't like to change. Your brain isn't excited about change because change to your brain equals risk, right? Risk equals possible danger and danger equals possible death. That's how your brain thinks, right? It's not like if you make a change, it's gonna be it's gonna be in death, but to your brain, any kind of major change from what you're doing or major thought process change could mean something bigger than what it actually is going to be. So you have a brain that wants you to survive and not to thrive. It's how you've been wired forever. So what you need to know is that if you're an entrepreneur or you're a business owner, you wanna be able to build an empire, you're already having to go against some of the brain chemistry that you have and know this, that if you don't evolve and you don't grow, that's the biggest risk. Ask yourself the question, is the biggest risk you not trying to start another revenue stream in your business or not trying to start another business? Is that really a massive risk compared to not evolving, not changing, not growing the asset of your business? And if anything ever happens, more pandemics, more recessions, more competitors, uh, more disruptors in the market, where would that leave you? The risk is not changing. I mean, look at what happened to taxis around the world. They were massively disrupted because Uber came along and said, we're gonna do something different. Now, taxis could have done what Uber did. In fact, in most of the countries around the world, they had the jump on Uber, but they didn't make that change. So the biggest risk that you have is not changing. The biggest risk you have is not evolving. You've got to look at opportunities and say, will there be risks inside of an opportunity? Sure. But inside risks, there's also going to be opportunities. There's gonna be opportunities and risks inside everything. If you manage that and you manage the downside, then understanding that transformation of yourself and your brain, knowing that's part of the process for you, knowing that's part of nature that you might be challenging up against, knowing that sometimes you need to go up against those human instincts and say, you know what, I am gonna do this. I am gonna evolve, I am gonna change. I wanna change rapidly, not at a snail's pace because there is risk in not evolving. There is risk in not changing. And if you're sitting there saying that maybe now it's my time to do something, there could be risk in that and there could be opportunity in that. But this is the reason why I encourage people to take that leap of faith and do the things in their life that they want to do, knowing that as long as they're managing those risks and they're understanding those, the biggest risk though is always going to be not changing and not evolving.